The first time I used my feminine voice was back in 2013. Once a week, I would take my car, drive from Fenton, Michigan, all the way down to Ann Arbor. It was about an hour drive. And when I was in the car, it was the time to practice. It was the time to make silly noises. I had two, three hundred recordings that I would, that I still have somewhere on an old hard drive of me practicing my voice. My therapy appointment was in the morning. I would go down, I would get a cup of coffee before therapy, go see a therapist, and then drive home, and eventually I started to get my confidence from all this practicing that I was doing. One day, I decided to use my voice. You have to understand, though, that this decision didn't come lightly. It wasn't something that I just did. It was months and months and months of fear and shame. I mean, years, if you want to go back even further to when I was even just exploring gender in the first place. To use my voice for the first time, it wasn't about practicing. It wasn't about getting it right. It wasn't even about like sounding silly or wrong. It was about overcoming shame. You have to understand that when I was using my voice for the first time, it was bad. It was, it was bad. Hi, can I have a cup of coffee, please? Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. It was bad. It was not a good voice. But the first time I used my voice was the first time that I looked shame and ridicule in the face and said, not today. Voice training is not about finding the right voice. Voice training is about overcoming fear and shame. It's about being your authentic self because our voice is a direct connection to our emotional center. When we feel sad, we sound sad. When we feel anxious, we sound anxious. Happy, happy. When we feel shame, we don't use our voice. Recognize that the first time you use your voice isn't going to be good. But recognize that it's not about being good. It's about paving the way forward for future you.